Hey guys, I want to talk you through how I do my Hoyer lift into my new Amy Systems chair. First what I do is I pull my uh, back pillow and my leg pillow out. And I lay flat on my back and I get all the spasms out before I go rocketing into the air and shaking all about. And I have my helper pull my pants a little bit straighter and give me some room in the, the crotchetal area. And then I give a couple tugs toward the end of the bed. The Hoyer doesn't really reach that far into the bed, so I gotta tug toward the end. And I roll up on my side so I can tuck the sling in the back. And I always put the butthole over my backside. Well, that doesn't sound weird. And give it a good tuck in. And I try not to put it too far up past my shoulders. That way the Hoyer stays around my knees. And I roll back flat. And I try to center myself as close to the center as I can so my weight is right in the center of that sling. You don't want to be too far to one side or the other. And I give it a couple tugs, make sure everything's lined up just right. And I try to tug the jeans enough that way there's not a snug crotch. Nobody likes a snug crotch. And then I put the pillow between my knees so that way nothing gets crunched, smashed, or crushed. And then I bring the Hoyer over top of me. I put it around my uh, belly area and I lock the, lock the wheels. I don't want it rolling away as I'm lifting up myself up in the air. And a lot of people put the sling right to the Hoyer boom. I actually use the chains. I see, I think it works better doing it that way. Um, that way it's a little more spread out. That way I don't get my head smushed or my legs smushed together too much. And then I pump the sling up and raise me up. Sing a little ditty. Hanging around, sling here by myself. I had too much time and I was thinking about myself. And then there I was. And I heard by myself and there he was. I put my slippers on just to protect my feet or my shoes, whatever I wear at the time. Unlock the wheels and I pull the sling away. I try to use the hand grips, that way I'm not pulling on the sling and make myself tip over. Just a swing! And then move over my chair and the wheels spread out just far enough that it reaches around my chair. I have to go through the front or get in the front of this chair which I'm really not a fan of. It's really awkward trying to get in this chair. I have to tilt my chair back just a little bit so my butt touches the, the cushion. And I drop the sling down just a little bit and I give a couple tugs. And I kind of alternate tilting the chair back and tugging 
that way my butt's as far back as I can comfortably. Give another little tug. I lower down enough so I can get the chains off. Unhook the chains. I remove the jewel pillow. I pull the Hoyer away. Throw my pedal on. And then what I do is I pull up to the bed or the couch. Um, oh, got a little headrest adjustment there. I pull up to the bed or the couch. That way if I do end up tipping over or sliding out of the chair, which hasn't happened, knock on wood, um, I have something softer under me rather than the hard floor. Normally what I would be doing right now is pushing the sling out from under me, but in this instance, I'm jumping in the shower right after this, so I leave the sling under me so I can go right from this to my shower chair. Just wanted to show you guys how I do uh, the Hoyer into my uh, my new Amy Systems chair. Um, I have to do it from the front, so it's a little bit different. I wanted to share that with you guys. I appreciate you guys watching my videos, and you're always more than welcome to uh, like the video and subscribe and share my videos. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching.